today i would like to talk about children how to grow the children according to the rule of islam actually we are in london and this topic for us is very important mashallah you people born in islamic countries your tarbiya your parwarish was grown in islamic countries but our new generation or those children that they born in this country it is little bit difficult for them to follow the islamic rules why you know better because where he is studying his school is full of non muslim people where he is living his neighbor is non muslim where he want to go for sight seeing everywhere there is non islamic culture so because of these things to follow the islamic rules is difficult for our new generation even our new generation that they are living here they don't know many things about islam good example for this is that they they cannot speak their mother language some muslim brothers they belong to afghanistan their children don't know pashto those muslim brothers belong to pakistan their children don't know urdu those belong to kenya nigeria they don't know nigerian so my brothers this is our duty this is the duty of their parent that they should teach to their children islamic rules they should grow their children according to islamic here i am praying five times a day mashallah only on in the juma prayer 10 or 15 children are coming to my masjid only in juma prayer there are a lot of muslim brothers that they are living near to masjid just his father is coming to masjid but his uh, sons are not coming to masjid why this is the question mashallah in islamic countries masjids are full of children why because is uh, they know everything here we should order to our children go to masjid my brothers qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala kullukum ra'in every one of you is responsible wa kullukum mas'ulun an ra'iyatihi and everyone will be asked about his responsibilities father is responsible for his children teacher is responsible for his students i am imam here i am responsible for you people allah will ask from me about you people that did i give the message of allah and his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to you people or not and you are responsible for your families you are muslim 
why your ch ch children became non-Muslim? Why your children didn't come to masjid? Why they don't know the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? My brother, these are questions that will be asked from you, from me, and the akhirah, inshallah. May Allah protect us. Amen. In khutbah, I recite the words of Quran in Majid. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. O oh, those people who, are, who believe, who are mu'mineen. Qu anfusakum. Save yourself. Protect yourself. Wa ahlikum and your family. Nara. From fire. From the fire of Jahannam. How to protect ourselves and our families from, from the fire of the Jahannam? We have to follow the Quran and Hadith. We have to come on the Quran and Hadith in our house. This word is not only and only for earning the money. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I didn't Create the human and jinnat, but only and only for worship. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Muru awladakum biswala. Give order to your children, to your sons, to your daughter for praying. Wadribuhum and punish them. When they are 10 years old and they are not praying. Look. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved children too much. He never punished the children. But here, when he is not praying, he order punish them. Why? At this time, if he start the prayer, so inshallah, Till his did, till 50 years he will pray. But if, if at this time he didn't pray, so the rest of the life will be very bad. Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu, he was very small. His mother bring him to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And said to Prophet ﷺ, My son will be with you. And he will help with you. For example, you need something, you can order to Anas radiallahu who he will bring for you. So one day Anas radiallahu, he was very small. Rasulullah sallallahu said to him, Go and bring that thing for me. For example, from the bazaar, from the shop like this. Anas radiallahu who was very small, he went out, he started playing with another children. And our prophet was waiting for him. After two hours, three hours, he came out, Oh Anas, what are you doing here? I told you that bring that thing and you are praying here. Anas radiallahu said, Prophet sallallahu didn't punish me. He didn't become angry on me. Just only he told me, bring the, the, th the thing for me. In this story, there is one point. That Prophet Sallallahu didn't become angry to Anas. Why? He loved the children. But in another place, when the children are not praying, they are not living according to Islamic rules, you have to punish them. You have to avoid them from these things. You have to teach them. Especially in these countries, my brothers. I'm teaching here to my children uh, from 5 to 7 o'clock. Some of my students, they are 13 years old. They don't know nimas, salat. They don't know how, what is prayer. How many rakah and uh, fajr prayer, how many rakah and zohar prayer. And he is 13 years old. Why? Because of his parent. 
His father is going out at the morning to earn money and coming to house nine o'clock, ten o'clock, then sleeping. And he don't know about his children. What is he doing? What is he learning in school? So my brothers, be prepared for your children. Mashallah, here are some of our brothers. They grow their children according to Islamic rule, hundred by hundred. But they are very less. May Allah give us tawfiq. Wa ma'alayna illa al-balagh.